All right, so here's what we got going on today. Um, I picked this old vise up from my brother's house. He had moved into a house oh, about a year ago or so. And uh, this was just sitting out there. Um, it didn't have this this pole here, but I just stuck it in there just to just to kind of show you. But um, old, old. I, you can tell it's really old. I can't get any numbers off of there or anything. It's it's pretty it's pretty bad. But um, this nut, as you can see, is not connected to here. So I'm going to weld that on there. Um, and it does it does turn pretty easy after I got this initially unstuck it turns pretty good so I'm going to throw this over there in the, uh, the sandblaster cabinet and finish these uh, you know sandblasting these grooves and stuff there they really aren't all that bad but uh, I do have a little bit of gunk in there and I have a uh, a little hand sandblaster deal I might hit the outside of this a little bit but um, whenever I was doing this this went all the way in here and well it wouldn't wouldn't allow it to turn anymore so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this old piece this already had a hole in it but uh, I need to widen out that hole and I'll slip it on here and run that all the way run run this all the way up to here and hopefully I'll, I'll make it stop at this but I'll weld this plate onto here and um, hopefully that'll be enough to work <laughs> I don't know but that's my plan anyway so let me uh, sandblast this off and I'll prep these areas I gotta to grind them down a little bit uh, so we can make good contact whenever we I didn't wind up using this piece because I, I actually found a piece that was almost just like this and it was already um, a way bigger hole and all I had to do was use my um, ether, I forget whatever you call it but um, yeah, you can see there just went on the inside of that and just wallered it out just a little bit more uh, and then welded it on here and I don't know if it's because it's dirty maybe this is some kind of pot metal or something it didn't really weld that good and I'm sure some of it had to do with me not being that good of a welder but anyways um the main the main pressure like the heavy the heavy forces is whenever you're going to be tightening it down so you have these two outer pieces pushing in on itself so that's that's where most of that uh, that pressure is going to go the only time where this weld is going to come in is whenever you're you're unscrewing it and you're letting it back out which um you know it should be all right i uh i had to loosen this up and man this thing was on just stupid tight um i actually had to heat it up with the torch but uh still pretty warm um, so I just greased the crap out of this thing all over the place but uh, yeah, it's pretty neat neat I don't I don't know if this was uh, maybe something somebody had attached to the back of their truck and they kind of just pull it out and they kind of just pull it out and reattach it and maybe this it's also for like whenever you're shoeing a horse or whatever um, maybe they come out. Well, I know they come out to your to your property and they'll uh, shoot your horse for you. But here's here's where it's at. Let's see here. Let's see here. Works pretty good. Um, the only thing is that it can only go so far because this is straight, and there since it's a round hole it'll uh, kind of get cockeyed in there so it can only go so far but I think it's yeah, that's about as wide as it can get but it's still a pretty decent amount
and then just tighten it back up. Like I said, I just grease the crap out of it. Oh, so there's that. I, uh, <laughs> I ran out of grease. It was just the, the remaining grease that I had. And this is actually some grease my dad had. And I don't know how old this is, but it is extremely, extremely old. Um, but, you know, it's never been open. <laughs> Good old Sinclair stuff. With the line. EP Molly Grease. So, pretty old stuff. But, I thought that was kind of neat. Um, yeah, so I guess that's pretty much it. I'll, I'll figure out a, somewhere in the backyard that I'll put this. Um, and I'll probably leave it in this little, uh, oh, it's still hot. I'll probably leave this in, leave it in this little stand. That is home. I'll just leave it on there. Because it still allows it to swivel, which I don't know if that's a good thing. Because if I'm cranking down on it and it's starting to swivel, it might tick me off. So I might come up with something else. But until then, good to go. As you can tell, that's good timing because I got a phone call. But uh, y'all comment, rate. Talk to you later. See ya.